Gang, just want to remind you that the Are You Garbage Comedy Special is on our YouTube page right now. Yeah, it is. It is our favorite moments from last year's tour. And speaking of tours, we're here to announce 2022, the middle class famous tour, baby. New cities, new trash, new money. Yeah, gang, we're coming to Hartford, Albany, Syracuse, Atlanta, Tampa, Orlando, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Detroit, Denver, <laughs> Phoenix, Salt Lake City, Chicago, Rosemont, and this is just part one. Plenty of cities coming after that. It's live stand-up, live AYG. It's a good time. Get your tickets now. We'll see you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grew up to be classy mm-hmm. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a rainy day down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. She's upstairs trying to resell the Christmas tree. Okay. Trying to get a head start. All right. My co-host is coming at you from right next to me, unamused. He is the CEO of RU Garbage. He is an international businessman, and he is not to be trifled with in the boardroom. Give it up for Kippy, Kevin James Ryan. Hey, gang. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube, and as you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Cooking, baby. And then Patreon.com, you sign up, you get a bunch of... Of uh, bonus content, live streams, the whole nine yards. Woo! Check it out. Love it. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the Magic Man, makes us all look good. T Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen. What's up, dudes? Hey, T Bone. It's going to be a great episode. I'm excited. It's going to be fun. Very excited because we could not be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest here with us today for the first time. This man is a legendary stand up comedian, actor, and director. He has appeared in over 116 films and television Ooh. shows and has made over 146 stand-up and television appearances. To name but a few would be Late Night with Conan O'Brien, Dr. Katz, Three Kings, Third Watch, Super Troopers, SVU, Sex in the City, The Ellen Show, Hacks, Igby Goes Down, Ed, That 70s Show, 13 Going on 30, Pale Force, The Love Guru, Flight of the Concords, 17 Again, My Boys, Away We Go, Law and Order, The Daily Show. We're not even out of the 90s, gang. So sit back and relax. I got bored to death. I got Portlandia, Kilimanjaro, Teacher's Lounge, Hot Pursuit, The Jim Gaffigan Show, Chuck, Kimmy Schmidt, Chappaquiddick, Being Frank, Super Troopers 2, Hotel Transylvania 3, Them That Follow, Troop Zero, Drunk Parents, Above the Shadows, Tesla, Most Wanted, Bob's Burger, Luca, Rick and Morty, Stargirl. Guys, it works. own Comedy Central Presents. <laughs> You've seen him on Crank Yankers. <laughs> Conan, The Tonight Show, Letterman, Larry Whitmore, Hot Ones, Bill Maher, Joe Rogan, Larry King now, Lights Out with David Spade, James Corden, Good Morning America, Colbert, (laughs) Seth Meyers, CBS Sunday Morning, and he also has multiple stand-up specials and albums out, Beyond the Pale, King Baby, (laughs) Mr. Universe, Obsessed, Cinco, Noble Ape, Quality Time, and of course, the brand new comedy monster, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the one, the only... Mr. Jim Gaffigan. Yeah. How about that? Thank you. Thank you. I've never had ever, uh, someone <laughs> read every credit. <laughs> that's not even all of them. That's, uh, that's very, uh, it's amazing. Yeah. It's that's... Ama- but you know what I noticed when you guys were introducing this? I know this is all about trash, but mm-hmm. you're all trash with Irish names. Oh, Have you noticed yeah. that? Oh, yeah. It's bad. The it's two bad. go hand in hand. It's right, like... So, but then it's like the question is: Are you uh, lace curtain Irish or or uh, trash Irish? Which is ninety nine point nine. We're going to find out about you today, my friend. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> what does lace curtain mean? Like, like fancy, right? Fancy. Lace curtain. Oh, I thought it meant like the little doilies that your grandmother would have on the corner. of the... I think that is, that is lace, lace curtain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but we like those, and we weren't. They were all but, cigarette burns in them. Oh, yeah. Cigarettes. What an amazing, important thing. Because I've been trying to write <laughs> about this. It's like I remember, I don't know if this has anything to do with your show, but I remember being nine years old 
and my mother sending me to the store. This, to yeah, buy, this has a lot to do with the show. Oh. Yeah. To buy a carton of cigarettes. A carton of cigarettes. And when I got there, the guy wasn't like, hey, you're eight years old. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? <laughs> he was like, do you need matches? Yeah. <laughs> you want a couple of beers to go with that? It was it was pretty standard. Uh, of course. Oh, yeah. It was pretty standard. Every, you know, the smoking thing, it's so weird because I, I have these kids and they're like, did you smoke? And I did smoke, but I'm like, I don't want to tell them I smoked. Uh-huh. Uh, so I lie. Cause yeah. that's what <laughs> like that's, a good parent. That's how I learned to parent. Yeah. <laughs> is through lying. There you go. But yeah, no, smoking, both my parents constantly smoking. What really? was in it for you when you would go get the cartons? Because we always got a little treat. If like my oh. mom or like one of my yeah. aunts said, run to the store and get me a couple packs of cigarettes, get yourselves a couple of candies too. Well, there was the change. The yeah. change right? was big as a kid. The oh. change was a big thing where often they'd be like, you can keep the change. Oh. Uh, only if it was like change. Yeah, yeah. 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 No Not bills. Like, wow, no real what? dollar bills. Yeah. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I mean, by the way, it's like kids, uh, you know, I think I remember losing a tooth and getting a quarter. Oh, yeah. <sighs> now now it's like they get 20. like 20. 20 it's like a, yeah. You get a Bitcoin now. My yeah. nieces and nephews have like more money than me just from like yeah. accumulating teeth and, you know, graduating second grade and all this stuff. They're yeah. better with it now, too. I noticed my brother and his, his wife, they'll... they'll They'll start handling the funds. Like if, if they get like something for their birthday, they have to put like twenty or half of it in their little savings account. Oh, when we were kids, it was that's like smart. Yeah, that's I remember smart. my communion money. I was walking around like it was Vegas. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. What is the origin story of Mr. Jim Gaffigan? Tell us the whole deal. Okay. Well, you know, I uh, I'm from Indiana, but right. I'm originally from Illinois. Mm-hmm. I uh, my father was from Springfield, Illinois. My mother was from uh, Fort Dodge, Iowa. And, um, well, you know, like they did, I did one of those finding your roots things, oh. which was amazing. Any any dirt come up? Um, well, I had, uh, <laughs> there was, uh, my dad's name was Michael Gaffigan. I have a son named Michael Gaffigan. And there was somebody who murdered someone oh. who was named Michael Gaffigan. You never, it's never, you never find anything good in these things. <laughs> no, I don't know why, it, no it, kidding. It, it I don't know why amazing. anybody does it. But he was, you know, the thing was, was he framed because of the Molly Maguires, because the nativist thing? Because, like, both sides of my family were essentially, uh, they fled to the Midwest to escape persecution of Catholics. I know that sounds so weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, it's like, ooh, those Catholics, let's get them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, all these, that's why I find it so amazing when, like, Catholics turn around and, like, it's like you know your grandpa used to tell you that like that, that you were picked on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. like so. Um, but Wait, yeah, so the Molly like, Maguire's. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. That's like Union Coal. Yeah, that was uh. So like yeah, there, my father's side was big coal miner stuff. My gra- uh, my grandfather made dentures, and I remember thinking, whoa. That's brutal. <laughs> yeah. But then I did Finding Your Roots, and the guy was like, he was the first one to get out of the coal mine. Wow. Yeah, and I guess that's better wow. than coal mining. And so, like, you don't realize. And so, like, my mother's family ended up in Iowa because they were in Maine, and they were, like, lighting churches on fire and killing like literally tar and feathering a priest. Jeez. So they escaped. What is this, the 80s? What are we talking <laughs> about here? <laughs> what like, is this? The 70s was, were a wacky time. This was like uh, 1880. All right. So it's like your mom's. Yeah, your mom's lineage. Grandparents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. It wasn't like my parents. <laughs> you know I mean? And I'd now do stand-up comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be a Jim, run for your life. <laughs> but it was. So it's like. So, uh, so, yeah. But, like, my father was the first one to go to college. Wow. But, uh, you know, I mean, the, I mean, I definitely grew up upper middle class. Though. Right. But that, you know, like, the, the trash is not far away. No. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, course. it's. It's a very and my parents wanted to get away from it. So like they like that I wanted to be a farmer. They were like really? uh they they my mother refused to get us. Where overalls. did that come from, the farmer? I don't know. I That's it, just... no more vegetables in the house. <laughs> no, it was just a weird thing. I think that 
It's the Midwest. I had, yeah, I, I, I had a garden, it. and it was something you could control. I don't know. I mean, I was <laughs> I wasn't a bright kid. Well, you grow peppers now. I follow you on yes, Instagram. Yes. He grows peppers. So I, a lot of them. I nice did ones, it too. like in sixth or seventh grade, and then I didn't do it for thirty years, mm-hmm. and now I have a garden at the know? house here in the city. I, we have uh, we rented a house in the suburbs. Nice. Take so. that, Dad. I'm growing peppers. <laughs> yeah. So it was fun. But, like, I'm trying to think of, like, yeah, so that's some of the origins. What'd your dad do? My dad was a banker. Your dad was a banker. Went the first, first one in his family to, to go, go to, to college. college. Yes. Where did he go to school? He went to school. He, he was going to become a priest. Okay. And then, but, like, that was kind of a free way to get college. Oh yeah, back then that makes back sense. Back then, and so he uh, he went to Georgetown afterwards. Nice, but back then Georgetown wasn't that fancy of a school. You know what I mean? And so uh, yeah, so like yeah, but like there was he's from Springfield. I don't know if you've been to Springfield at Illinois. Uh-uh. It's you know, <laughs> it's I mean it's very familiar. Yeah, you know what I mean. I grew up in Northwest Indiana. There's a lot you know. I remember the first time I performed in Chicago, there were people at the show that everyone who said, hey, I grew up in Northwest Indiana, they were wearing sweatpants. <laughs> so it was kind of Saturday night, they drove sure. into Chicago. Yeah. And it, but like, also like Northwest Indiana has a, uh, it's a very unique place. It is like it's the Calumet region, but they identify themselves as region rats. So the, Northwest Indiana is rejected by Chicago because it's Indiana, uh, but it's also rejected by Indiana because it's 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 Rust Belt. So like there's you know a lot of these uh, uh, different nationalities, ethnic Christians, whereas Indiana the state is primarily like protestant Mm -hmm. whereas northwest indiana is like ukrainian uh eastern orthodox and greek orthodox and irish catholic and mexican catholic so it's northwest indiana is a very strange there's a strange identity there what'd you call them rust belt rats what uh, region rats region Region rats. rats and because when there were steel mill strikes they um the uh, owners of the steel mills would call them rats. They would be, you know, like it was a derogatory term for Man. strikers. But it's like a Sally Field movie. Yeah, no, this is but funny, dude, the, I mean. but the area get to the vault off cocktails. Embraced it. You know what I mean? So it is a little bit like it's got some of that um, that blue collar hero. Sure, that's like sure. Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? That's what we're talking about. Yeah, and that, even if like you know you say you grew up upper upper middle class. Yeah, it's that generation that really carries the um, you know the the ways of their parents with them. Yes. I'm sure. I'm sure you saw a lot of that from your dad and how he was raised with you know. Oh yeah. Growing up in a much different situation. Yeah, there was you know like there's certain things that my dad had like that. We didn't have, like, I can't find it anywhere. Like, mush, you don't know what mush is. I mean, you guys are more scrapple. <laughs> yeah. Like, mush is like this. You guys are more scrapple. Wait, it's food? I didn't know it was food. <laughs> Midwestern. And it's called mush. I thought I had a, a, something in the yard it's, or something. It's, no, it's mush. It's like, I don't, you know, I honestly don't know what polenta is, but it's Neither kind of I. like, it's one of those things. So it was. It's cream of wheat. It's fancy yeah. cream of wheat. That's and what so is. it's kind of like similar to grits right yeah and so but it was kind of like a fried thing that you would it was like a bark kind of thing <laughs> you and keep so, using bad word bark <laughs> and mush to describe something to eat when you're running from the yeah. english it's kind of so, dirty like, that you know? was like you know fried bologna a f- yeah a lot of fried bologna my dad would make us fried bologna for breakfast and stuff like that how many of there were you i was the youngest of six youngest of six big family wow and so um but you know what's weird also is, and having traveled throughout the United States, like we think of tamales as <laughs> it's always about food with me. We think of tamales as a Mexican dish, but sure. really, what it tamales is a Native American dish. Okay, uh. that understandably the the Mexicans also have a lot of Native Americans. Sure, mm-hmm. and 
So like tamales are kind of a Midwestern thing. And you'll you'll find tamales in steakhouses in Little Rock, really? Arkansas. Yeah, there's a famous steak place called Moe's, I think, in Little Rock, where with your steak as a side dish, you can get tamales. And I love that. We got to book a show on I like, Little Rock. I like how he goes like back and forth with him, like this deep history of the Midwest. <laughs> I know. I love it. I love this stuff. <laughs> I love it. You got to go to Bubby's Steakhouse <laughs> yeah. if you want a really good tamale. I'm trying to think of like what... I mean, I definitely collected... Beer cans. Oh, yeah. as a kid, I have a, I have a yeah, as a kid, and I have a whole thing about how I would find these beer cans walking home from school, which tells you how nice the town was. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? And I didn't bring them to a recycling center. I put them on a shelf in my bedroom. Mm-hmm. And like my trophies. Parents, my parents were aware of this. Yeah. Right. Um, there was also, I mean, this is uh. You know, in my like, definitely see like you grew up. You guys grew up on the East Coast, like in the Midwest. Italian food. So obviously, there's a lot of Italians in Chicago, but like in Northwest Indiana, there wasn't that many. Like mm-hmm. there were enough where there were restaurants, but it was pretty much considered ethnic food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Italian Especially food, especially back was, in the day. Would your sure. mom make an attempt at spaghetti and meatballs she and would, stuff like she that? She would do spaghetti with meat sauce, uh-huh. but it was just ground beef. You know what I mean? Right. So like, like I was a little shocked when like. By the way, there's Mexicans in Northwest Indiana, but like I was kind of shocked when Mexican, like when you ordered a a beef, it was a taco, for a Mexican taco, and it was like kind of the string beef. You're like, I didn't ask for a sloppy Joe. I want <laughs> ground beef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, sloppy and so. Joe. I don't even know how I got on that topic, <laughs> but like just how like uh, Italian food was you very know, foreign was, to you. It was a, it was you know we definitely had spaghetti, but we didn't call, we didn't know what pasta was. Yeah, like pasta was that was yeah that was definitely fancy. Mm-hmm. You didn't have pa- penny alla vodka, right? Yeah, <laughs> pasta yeah, was, like not I a big burrata household. <laughs> I remember when I was in college, I had a roommate sophomore year. We were both uh, and. He was like, what's the best thing your mom makes? And I was like, her spaghetti. And he goes, uh, and I said, what's the best thing your mom makes? And he said, baked uh, ziti. And I was like, what's that? He thought was it was like, a dessert or something? <laughs> he was like, you don't know what ziti is? And I'm like, I've never heard of it. And I had never I heard mean, of it. I short noodles. I mean, so. What's this pizza I keep hearing about? No, but obviously there was pizza. And yeah, there was, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, some of it is like when I was a kid. And I see it with my teenagers. You don't pay attention. No. That's what we're, I'm learning from the show. He's, we ask questions about dinner. I'm like, I, don't, I didn't know anything my mom made. I just ate it or I didn't eat it. That's yeah, what it, was. it was just, you know, you don't pay attention. I'm sure I was in a restaurant that had ziti, but I didn't see it sure. on the menu. Yeah. Did your mom by any chance do the uh, spaghetti in a skillet? After, uh, no. Like after what? Oh, you mean the second round of it? Yes. No. No, but my wife's uh, mother did. Yeah, very old school. My they aunt did that a lot. She, she's as round. Irish as they come and yeah. would cut it up. It was so good. It was so weird when you would go to, like, friend's house. Because, like, when we would have spaghetti, it was, you got too much of it. And then you'd go to a friend's house and they're like, they give you, like, a salad bowl version of spaghetti yeah. with just the sauce on just the corner of the noodles. You're like... What the hell? What are we going doing here? here? Yeah, 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 like yeah. this is not spaghetti. Where are we? Are we in Japan? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like do you know a anything? Bowl. Yeah. yeah, it's got to be big. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm trying to think of like what was what uh, was the house that you guys lived in? How how many bedrooms and how many of you were in there at the same time? I always had uh, a roommate until people started moving out. Okay. A roommate. You mean so where did you call it? Yeah, my brother. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was, was like you were taking a strange yeah. man. Travelers. Yeah. <laughs> Some renter passing through. Uh, but I'm trying to think of like, there's like, there was a lot of, uh, uh, I remember being a little kid. Oh, I got to get to the fishing thing. I brought this up. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's great. So this is a, a true detail of my childhood, which I don't know if it's white trash or if it's... Um, just kind of an experience that I had. The first time I went fishing, I'm not making this up, was in the community swimming pool. Oh. What? what do you mean? <laughs> and every oh. September, they would fill the public pool with fish. 
And chlorine, too? And then kids from the town would try and catch the fish <laughs> before the chlorine killed the fish. I'm not making this up. <laughs> this is a race against the clock. And uh, there is a photo of when what? I was like, so I'm the youngest of all these siblings, and uh, my sister Pam Holding had gotten <laughs> all these, uh, everyone to gather all their fish together to give to me so that I would be in the newspaper. Mm-hmm. For like catching the most, the most fish, yeah. it was also the same for the, the Easter most egg poisoned hunt. fish. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, like the Easter egg hunt, I had like you know crates of eggs, but like I didn't pick them. It was just my yeah. sister. Organizing. It was all set up. It was all <laughs> just got pressed for the she's, family. She's, yeah. She should have been a publicist. Yeah, right. Yeah, you know? but Wait, I'm trying to think of like. Would you other eat the things. fish? No, no, no. I not. I did not. <laughs> that's still crazy. to this day. That's also, I think, a sign of. Uh, garbage is fish is you don't eat fish like fish and i know you guys east coast people you eat fish but what about like, friday during lent didn't you guys have that fish we i mean we had filet of fish you <laughs> know what i mean but like mcdonald's was a big shout out thing. to gordon's i mean this is how old i am like i remember there were times where my parents would give us each a dollar and we would walk to mcdonald's and you could walk to McDonald's, you could get a burger and fries, and then walk to Dairy Queen mm-hmm. with 30 cents and get a cone for 25 cents. This was That's in Cleveland 1902. Right <laughs> 1902. But, but it was. Where did you bought the horses, exist. Jim? This is the I, 70s. Remember, I remember when candy bars were 10 cents. You guys are like, I don't remember that. <laughs> They're like, dream, he, he wishes he was born 50 years <laughs> earlier. Yeah, so I got lost in a fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> I got to figure out how to make a time machine real quick. Get, my, get over to Dairy Queen. <laughs> Kebby, how about that Mint Mobile? Mint Mobile. You know about them. I'm a big Been fan using of using them for a while. Big Mint Mobile household over there at the uh, Ryan residence. If you're just finding out about them, do yourself a favor. Get on that Mint Mobile. Mm-hmm. 15 bucks a month, pass the savings right on to you. You're probably like, oh, there's got to be a hook. There's got to be a thing. There's not. There's no middleman. Direct to the consumer. If saving more and spending less is one of your top goals for 2022, uh, why are you still paying insane amounts of money every month for wireless? Knock it off. Like the big man said, Mint Mobile, just 15 bucks a month. Uh, my wife uses Mint Mobile. They send it to us. She reboots it with that card. Bada bing, bada boom. Keeps the phone, the number, the whole nine yards. It's fantastic. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, and get the plan shipped right to your door for free. Go to mintmobile.com slash garbage. That's mintmobile.com slash garbage. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash garbage. Gang, let's talk about the good folks over there at Movement. Movement, baby. Couple of college dropouts. Couple of go-getters. Got into the watch and sunglass business, mm-hmm. and bang, it took off. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. I got a watch. I got some sunglasses, and I love them to death. And I'll tell you what, you know what they're focusing on now? What's that? They got those blue sunglasses. That, when you're scrolling on the screen. The ever scroll. Get your eyes all goofy. Yeah. You got to get in there. You got to protect yourself. Mm-hmm. That stuff will jam you up. Blue light can be super harsh on your eyes, and some studies show that as uh, too much exposure to blue light may lead to disrupted sleep patterns and other health effects. That's why movement, ever scrolls are game changers. Your eyes will thank you. If you're sitting in a computer and sitting in front of a computer all day, Get these bad boys. Yes. You got to take care of yourself. Protection, baby. Uh, Crafted with top tier materials, movement ever scrolls filter out nearly 90% of the most intense blue light rays and feature anti-glare lenses for elevated comfort. These are top of the line. Top of the line. State of the art. State of the art. If you want to protect your eyes with style that doesn't break the bank, join the movement and get 15% off today with free shipping and free returns. By going to MVMT.com slash garbage. Again, one more time. Write it down. That's MVMT.com slash garbage. Do it. But oh. I, I want to remember more. I'm trying to think of, like, what else there was. You uh, know, it was just. Uh, growing up in Indiana, what was the. Because I've lived in Chicago for a long yeah. time. So all I know of Indiana is fireworks. Yeah. So what was, like, the firework BB gun slingshot situation? A lot of outdoor. Up? What were you Well, know? there was. Um, there was a, definitely a lot of fireworks stores because it was a little bit, you know, people would come and buy fireworks there. So, like, here's what I always, I have, whenever I perform in Chicago, I always bring this up. Like, being, you know, I grew up half an hour from Chicago in Northwest Indiana. And so, but whenever I'm in Chicago, like, people in Chicago, and I'm exaggerating, obviously. They don't know anything about Indiana. So you're you're like, I'm from Indiana. And they're like, 
where's that? And you're like, <laughs> when's your like flight a, get here? What's like going a, on? It's like a half hour away. Yeah. They ask for and, your passport. And they're like, I thought that was the road to Michigan. And it is. Yeah. You know, because people would drive through Indiana to get to a vacation place in Michigan. Would you guys go into the city as a family? We would go shopping, uh, you know, I'm thinking more as a teenager to uh, we'd go to Water Tower Place to go shopping, which okay. was a big shopping mall. We'd go in for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. They yeah, would dye the river green. Um, you know, you would, you know, like also as a high school student, you go and get wasted. <laughs> um, I remember I was, so this is where my dad w- wanted us to be fancy. Like you have to understand also, like in Chicago at the time, the Cubs played during the day and the White, White Sox, Sox played at night were they were like a, a a level of trash you can't even comprehend <laughs> like it was the circus <laughs> and there was like there was you know like you walk around the city and you smell weed like that's what it was like to be at a white Sox game <laughs> so my dad Budget one time he brought us to a white Sox game and i don't know why but he had us wear ties and so we're at a White Sox game, and people in front of us are smoking weed. Like, in the there game? There was like a fight. Like, I don't know if you've ever – have you ever been to the Meadowlands? Well, you guys are from Philly, so of it's course. like you know this. It's like there is a certain – You just described Thanksgiving at my house. Too. There's a tribalism that comes out in certain oh, yeah. athletic yeah. Uh, yes. venues. And so, like, Comiskey Park was very much like you're going into a certain level of chaos. And at that time, you the know what I mean? I could have helped you. Yeah. No, it was, it was insane. It was insane. But I think that was them wanting to be uh, classy. Yeah, be classy. higher than they are. Yes, yeah, yeah, my yeah, dad yeah. definitely wanted that. And so, like, and all my siblings rebelled. You know, like, so my brother, Mike, the first car he bought was a pickup truck. Mm-hmm. And my okay. parents were like, what did we do? We're not pickup truck people. <laughs> yeah. You know, and so... Yeah, it's weird. There's a little bit of a mix. Like, did you read uh, Hillbilly Elegy? Mm-mm. Like, there's... Uh, so, th- you guys are trash. You don't read. Is that a book? <laughs> <laughs> Is it on tape yet? <laughs> it's it's probably the, one of the most famous books for the past 10 years. You guys... Never heard of it. Is that by Larry the Cable Guy or something? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, wait a minute. How many pictures in this book? Is that a coloring book? Does it come with crayons? I'm more of a Sports Illustrated man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that Sports Illustrated. That w- they got rid of that issue, right? The swimsuit issue. Not that I've noticed. Yeah. But- <laughs> Not that I've written angry letters You're to gener- Mr. Illustrated. That, that blew you guys away. Oh, my God. You was the, for you guys were was- the first one to get yeah. that. Oh, it was just unbelievable. Yeah, that in the 80s. <laughs> he just went back to the 80s. <laughs> yeah. oh. He was like, oh, God. That was a, it was a different era. <laughs> it was a different era. It was a strange time. I mean, I remember when, um, you know, the uh, Victoria's Secret catalog came mm-hmm. out. That yeah, was that was big news. That was like, holy shit, see you guys later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, pre-internet, that's, you know. You're like... You're like, well, there. I guess you know, like your mom. You're like, she didn't order this. I guess there is a god. <laughs> it just showed up. Yeah. I want to go back real quick, just because it stuck in my head about the fish. Yeah. About you didn't, you don't eat fish. No. You do now, right? Not really. I mean, you've been all over the world. I you've, wish you've had to have tried all, all I, different kinds. Look, of fish. I like, uh, I like halibut. I like tuna. But it's a if weird it, one to say, by the way. Yeah, I've never heard anybody lead with halibut. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. Halibut. I just never heard it. It's just like a white fish. You know? Oh, really? Yeah. I, I guess that's, that's an East little... Coast thing, too, maybe. And uh, no, I just know halibut is a white fish. And also, it's like when we, w- I remember I did a, a cruise ship when I was dating my wife t- in Alaska. It was like through um, from Vancouver to Alaska. You were working. Yeah, I was working. All right. And, um, and I was like, "All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try salmon." Like she's, I mean, she's from Milwaukee. She ate fish, mm-hmm. you know, and she used to kind of give me shit. She's like, "What's wrong with you yeah, with yeah, fish?" Yeah. And I'm like, "It smells like a butt. I, I don't know. want it's to." Tough. It's then tough. I, then I can understand. But now you I know, be no, me. I know. But like, and then I also I did a bunch of material. I don't know if this has happened to you guys, where you do material on something, and then that influences you. Like I used to eat. 
I mean, I think oysters are disgusting. Oh, but yeah. Like, what? Yeah, you I love them. I won't even right? Oh, man. That's because you like to eat cum. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, the kids got me. I don't know what to tell you. Fed the right. <laughs> Put a little cocktail sauce on it. I'm in. No, but um, <laughs> isn't he the clean comedian? Yeah, uh, I need that just for my. I need that clip just for my personal. But uh, that's great. Yeah, no, like I, I like shrimp. Uh, you know, my aunt lived in Maryland. I, crabs. I definitely ate crabs. All right, there you go. But. Um, like, uh, you know, I've done too much material on seafood. Now I'm kind of like, I can barely do lobster. I can do it here and there, but like, like you know, like I think that I'm good for it. I'm like, okay, we're, I'm going to get fish tacos. Look at me yeah, go, yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, it smells <laughs> weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I'm such a baby. I'm like, where's the... Where's that sauce they put on it in San Diego where you can't tell it's fish? <laughs> uh, it, it's uh, If it's deep I mean, I fried. I get the fish tacos with chicken. If it's deep fried. Fish. If it's yeah. deep fried. Fish but and chips you, is good. Yeah, fish and chips. Right. I'm fine with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So you won't, do, you won't do oysters in the half shell. You won't do. No. What about sushi? I'll do spicy tuna. All right. Um, it's an Irish thing. You know, I'll yeah, do. Yeah, really. Like my, that's all my family is like. Yeah, it is weird. It's, it's an I, they're, they're, Irish people, especially back then, were like simple, simple people. It's like, yeah. you know. Oh, so thank you for that compliment. <laughs> you're, like, you're like simple, simple, dumb idiot. <laughs> no, well, you just, remind me of like an absolute <laughs> imbecile. <laughs> salmon? What kind of dog is that? <laughs> no, but, but salmon. But I'm just saying like your parents would... and parents, it's just like, you know, it's yes. in you to not be I think my parents liked fish. I, really? think, I think it's. And again, I I wish I liked salmon, but like like caviar. Do you like caviar? I would never eat I've it. I've only had a little bit of it. I've been wanting to try it. When you were in Paris? Back to my podcast of being salt of the earth. <laughs> I was in Paris. <laughs> in Paris. It was only Christmas. a five-star hotel. <laughs> you know, Gavin can just put two in the back of your head. So. Yeah, yeah, done. <laughs> That's the end of the show. I thought this was going to be a fun episode. Gavin comes in and ruins it. The first time I've traveled. What do you want from me? <laughs> it was so Paris, I was, Texas. I was in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Paris with Olivia Wilde and we we're dancing. Hey, Olivia Wilde. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. It was at Timothy Chalamet's house. <laughs> Enjoying some caviar. You shared a peach with him. <laughs> Did you see that movie? I watched that movie on a plane mm -hmm. and I was like, I'm like. You know, like, there's still the remnants of, like, the eighth grade homophobia. Like, yeah, it would, get like, to, yeah. it would get to the gay part, and I'd be like, fast forward, not into this. Because <laughs> I'm on a plane, not into this. Yeah, hey, 7B, <laughs> this, this isn't my this speed. This hard odds from somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> I got the Victoria's Secret catalog next to me. Of imagining women. <laughs> oh, that's too good. What's, what was the summer job situation? I worked in a grocery store. Nice. Uh, it was, uh, I also. Was it the grocery store that your mom went to? No. It really? Was, it was uh, farther away. Uh, my dad got me the job there. Nice. So I also worked, uh, I worked construction. Uh, my dad got me that job. <laughs> I, and one summer my dad couldn't get me a job, so he made me volunteer at the hospital. Okay. So I was like, was he kind of a mover guy. and shaker in, in 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 the town? He, in some ways, I think bankers. You know, he was he would describe himself as a small town banker, but like I think he, yeah, he definitely had some influence. Mm -hmm. Sure, you know. So, but like I am grateful that I had those opportunities. I remember when I was doing construction. Again, I the only reason I got the job is because of my dad. But like, there was a time during the summer when they. Uh, it became a uh, firsthand knowledge that I was a college student, and like people that were super nice to me were just like done. Yeah, get out really? Of here. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. man. That, Job sites are tough. Tough cookies out there. Yeah, huh. the Midwest. Yeah. Yikes. All right, let's get a little uh, little, little are you garbage questions here. Yeah, okay. Um, obviously the family doesn't still live in the same house. Nobody lives in the same house that you grew up in, right? No. So, what was the name of the street that you grew up on? Um, uh, Hill Road. 
sounds pretty classy. It's all right. Yeah. Hill Hill Any cul de sacs in the neighborhood? Uh, no. It was. It was. I'm not gonna act like it wasn't a nice area. It was yeah. nice. It was a nice area. It was a nice. How area. many bedrooms? Um, two, three, six kids. Six kids. Four. All right. Five. Mm-hmm. Nice. Five. Pool. Nice do you guys do a pool? No. No pool. No pool. Garage. Um. Uh, no. It was like an under area where you could park, like an overhang type. Thing. Yeah. Carport. Yeah. I gotcha. I yeah. gotcha. Okay. That's this is the good. point where it's like, oh, this bastard. <laughs> <laughs> this carport having <laughs> sob. You know, when I was in Paris, I would see these people. <laughs> I'm just down to earth in Paris. <laughs> What was the name of the grocery store that your mom went to as a kid? I don't know. Is it Piggly Wiggly? <laughs> I mean, when I was, a, when I was a bad very look. little, it was Jewel. Not in Paris, my friend. Jewel. I can tell you that. When I was very little, it was Jewel. I remember it. All right. There you go. go. That's classic. But I think. Oh, by the way, also. there. All right. In my town where I lived, we did not get a McDonald's until I was in high school. We had a Dairy Queen yeah. that was open just for the summer. And now they have everything. Yeah, yeah they do. Not you know too I mean? shabby either. Their burgers yeah. ain't bad. Yeah. So, but like it was not a brazier. It was not a Dairy Queen brazier. It was just a Dairy just Queen. Just the ice cream. What does brazier mean? I think brazier means That's French, they serve isn't burger. It? It's pretty fancy. <laughs> Dairy Queen. I'm making a fun brazier. of me over here. I mean, you should know. Yeah. If it was <laughs> brazier, yeah. you should look it up when you were in France. <laughs> I'll have the frosty. With Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> it's so weird. You have a, you're have you like, I got in here, and he's like, shows me photos of like these nude photos of Timmy Chalamet. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. He was like, look at Timothy <laughs> Chalamet. <laughs> and I'm like, I think it's Timothy. And he goes, not to me. It's not. <laughs> it's a little pet name. I call him Tim Tim. <laughs> Tim, Tim. Wait, if you guys didn't have McDonald's, would you have Culver's? No, not yet. No. Um, Where are you getting best, a burger from? Well, we would, you know, it's weird. We So we kind of moved in eighth grade. But, like, the best burger in Northwest Indiana is this burger called Shoops. Sounds which is, good. Yeah. It's so good. Mm-hmm. And to this day, it's my favorite burger. Um, but in that area... We would drive to uh, we would drive to uh, another town to see a movie. We would, you know, like I'm sure there was like there was a Burger King in Michigan City. Okay, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, they didn't have like then they had a Shoops in Michigan City later on. But um, Shoops sounds awesome. Yeah, it just oh, sounds it's, good. It's Do you so go good. back. Is it still around? Yeah, and it's will still you go around. back when you're there? Yes. Yeah. And like, uh, yeah, it's that good. It's that good. Gotta add that to I'm the list. Think yeah. of like I like what it. there was. All right, I can't remember it. Okay. What about the vacation, the family vacation situation? Family vacation. I love how you're writing this down. Like it's like, <laughs> all right, you're like a detective. You're like, did, did, where do you get uh, to the bottom of this, Jim? <laughs> the, the easy um, way or the hard way? You choose. That should be. That should be. Uh, it should be you guys as Law and Order detectives. <laughs> um, we went on. Get the phone books. Let's see vacations. Uh, we definitely we would drive to my uncle Joe's for Thanksgiving every year. But like, I definitely went on. I went on a big vacation to Europe when I was in. I don't know. I was like ten. That's cool. Really? I think That's really cool. My grandmother passed away, and I think my parents were like, "Let's do it." So they uh, we went. Where'd you go? I went to Ireland, Greece. I saw the first time I saw uh, a man in a thong uh, <laughs> on uh, in Greece. Um, and then where else did we go? I wish I could... Oh, Copenhagen. Ah, all that right. Was pretty cool. That that's pretty a pretty cool. classy vacation. Yeah, that's very classy. What about Disney World or Disneyland as a kid? I went to Disney World, I think, once. Okay. And I remember, I think I threw up when I got there. <laughs> All the excitement? But you and sprint the whole way? I think that we also went to um, Hilton Head once, and I think I almost drowned. Um, it's got a tough run of vacations. But, uh, <laughs> I got a concussion at Bush Gardens. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think, you know, as. So I'm the youngest also. So, like, as my parents. 
as people moved out, they they did more. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. Less kids to watch, a couple more bucks laying around. Yeah. yeah, yeah Were you course. ever in the house by yourself? Was it ever just you and everybody was already off at college and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah. That was rough. That's very rough. You know, the youngest of six kids. Yeah. Your kid, your parents are mentally ill. By <laughs> 100%. Yeah. And uh, by then, they're just all over you. They yeah. know every trick. Every or, else. you know, I think. In my, oh, out. well, they, you know, I used to have a joke about that. Like in my, uh, about how when you're the youngest of six kids, your parents have seen everything and they don't. It's like, you're not going out tonight. You'll end up pregnant like your sister. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, just they've been lied to sure, so much. Yeah, and yeah. so I would go into the garage and lift weights and I would come back and my dad would be like, what were you really doing? And I'd be like covered in sweat <laughs> having lifted weights. And I'm like, I lifted weights. And he's like, likely. Yeah. <laughs> Let me smell your breath. <laughs> Gang, let's talk about Babel. 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 Let me tell you something. Learn a new language. It's fun. It's exciting. Mm -hmm. I knew a little bit of French when I got over there, and I'm telling you, it made the difference. Yeah. Feel smarter. I know. You got to be able to stick and move a little bit. Bonjour, monsieur. Oh. Party vous anglais. (laughs) Nah. Nine. Where are the hot dogs? (laughs) Donde esta los servicios, por favor. Yikes. Uh, You got to get on the Babbel, gang. Yeah. The whole Babbel process is addictively fun and easy. Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons for real-world use. I've actually used it in the past before they were even a sponsor. Really? When I go, when I, when I, you know, as my, my lady's German. So I'm You're trying to woo her. I'm trying to woo her. I had a, you Some know, German poetry. It is. It's nice. It's fun. Um, other language uh, learning apps use AI for their lessons plan, but Babbel's lesson, Babbel lessons were created by over 100 la- language experts. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. And you want to watch out for that AI. I don't trust it. Nah. Remember yeah. Terminator? I, uh-huh. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not messing with it. No. Nah. Right now, when you purchase a three-month uh, Babbel subscription, you'll get an additional three months for free. Look at that. You get an additional three months. That's six months for the price of three. Just go to Babbel.com. Use promo code GARBAGE. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Code GARBAGE. Babbel. Language for life. Do it. Manscaped, that's what we're talking about Manscaped, let me ask you something Yeah Folks at Manscaped want to ask you something What are the balls like down there? Yeah Are they stinky? Is it hairy? You got a rainforest, you got a swamp going on What are you doing? You got to clean it up, man You got to keep it tight It's a game changer You know where the game changer comes in Is when you use that Manscaped Mm 4.0 When you get the lawnmower on the grass Then you hop in the shower And you start, you know Going down, just you know, just you know, seeing what's going on. Yeah, you, do you feel like a million bucks? Feels like a different person down there. Yeah, which I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, the performance package 4.0. You'll find the signature lawnmower 4.0, the electric trimmer that probably that has proprietary advanced skin safe technology to reduce cuts on your nuts. Ceramic. You got the light. You got the powerful motor, but quiet. It's awesome. Plus, they got they'll throw in a crop preserver, uh, anti chafing ball deodorant, moisturizer, and toner. It's time to keep your North Pole smelling fresh. You know, it's an underrated hit over there too. Is there? They got a foot spray. Yeah. Also got a two in one shampoo and conditioner, which has key ingredients and benefits that include hydrating, nourishing, conditioning the scalp, strengthening your hair, all at the same time. Nice. Get twenty percent off plus free shipping with code garbage at manscaped.com. Get you one more time, 20% off free shipping with the code GARBAGE at manscaped.com. That's free shipping, manscaped.com, promo code GARBAGE. Clean up your nuts today. Now back to the show. Back to the show. But my older siblings were, you know, they were a troublesome bunch. Mm-hmm. Were, you, Not were always. you boozing in high school and stuff like that? Yeah, no? yeah, yeah. I boozed. I didn't smoke that much. I uh, That was still kind of taboo-ish. Right. Um. But yeah, no, the drinking thing was definitely, and there was no moderation. It was just like, just ridiculous amounts. Yeah, the governor's off. Yeah. Like I think I got drunk and in trouble, um, in eighth grade. Yeah, man, that's young. That's yeah, old yeah. School. I feel like it is like very Midwest though. I feel like you guys start a little early. You're just like, I mean, I don't know. It changes so. It's similar to stand up. You know, like there's some. Is something that happens, 
and then people are like, oh, that's how it works. And then six months later, they're like, no, no, over here, yeah, HBO yeah, yeah. Max is doing this. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. Like, this is Paramount Plus now. I just now. sold it to... <laughs> <laughs> they just asked me for it, you know what I mean? Where were you six months ago? They're like, well, oh, I went to all these open mics. They're like, nah, that doesn't matter anymore. That doesn't count anymore. <laughs> now, when you go on vacation now... Like or yeah. like travel for work, where you take your kids with you and I try do. to show them the world and stuff like that. Definitely. Yeah, yeah I've seen that. Yo, you're always taking everybody everywhere. Yeah, That's great. and it's uh, and during each of those trips, and we've been amazing places. There's always incredible memories. There's always a moment where I look at my kids and I think, I'm never doing this again. It's just too hard. Mm-hmm. It's because yeah. I'll do shows, so then I'll have to push people out of the room. So that, I wish I was one of those comedians that doesn't prepare so you, could just you know what I mean? hang or just go. like you know what i just show up but i'm like i'm like uh somebody who has to study i have a a bad short-term memory and so i'm always kind of and if you can think of one line mm-hmm. uh-huh. yeah it's worth it yeah yeah. yeah. so uh yeah so it's, it's tough to do that with people hanging around yeah you know especially like, if you have to be dad at the time as well yes know? and then also i like to nap because i'm a grandpa <laughs> I'm a big believer in naps. Do you guys naps? I do. Come on, big. Yeah. I got a sleep apnea machine coming, so I'm hoping that's going to fix it. Because I got, I, I got sleep apnea really bad. And how did you find out you had that? Because I was dying every every <laughs> every thirty seconds while I was sleeping. I would just wait. I would wake up and feel like I was having a heart attack. And he'd be like, uh, uh, and then finally, my I was sleeping. At my how parents did Timothy one Chalamet? React? <laughs> <laughs> that's who told him originally. We sleep in separate bedrooms. <laughs> oh, that's very modern. <laughs> yeah. It's very, very French. Very Parisian of us. Yeah. But yeah, but I take naps. But sometimes a nap is makes it worse, doesn't it? Never. Really? <laughs> Not for me. My wife can't nap. But uh, I mean, I could nap right here. Really? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do it right now. <laughs> no, I'm a big napper. Like, I'll, I enter a room and I'm like, I could nap on that couch. Yeah, you start yeah. scoping it out. What do you get? I mean, you are a, you are a busy man. Yes. You work your ass off. What do you get a night on a regular basis? And even is there a regular basis? There, you know, but I mean, it's the problem is I have material on this too. It's like my wife is a non sleeper too. So I am somebody, uh, if I wasn't doing stand up, I could probably be in bed by 10. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I, I probably go to sleep at one and get up. I do the morning shift, so I get up at six. Jeez. One to six. So you need a nap. That's and so, crazy. Yeah, and no so wonder then, you're falling asleep everywhere. And so then I, uh, you know, it's five kids, and they're monsters. So, and they're not, they don't wake up. I mean, I would say my youngest kind of like, hey, how are you in the morning? But the rest of them are like, you touch me, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I hate you, Dad. <laughs> yeah. So it is. It's, yeah, it's that morning shift is hard. Yeah, I mean, of course, tough. it's like a fraction of what my wife does. But mm-hmm. anyway, I'm a great guy. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty fantastic. <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you do sleep, what's, yeah. the, uh, what's the pillow situation? Oh, Fan yeah. directly on you? Anything like that? I have uh, gone to, I sleep face down. No, you don't. Well, what's wrong That's with that? That's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's like uh, dirt, my, dude. If butt, you're a dead mobster, nothing. Yeah. It's like a dirt nap. In the air, <laughs> I sleep. Well, or we're talking about we got a king, side. right? We got a king. King. We got a king. All right. I uh, I hold on to a pillow that's shaped like a dick. <laughs> no, I hold on to a, a pillow. Uh, just because I'm so fat, I think I need. I, of, I do it too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is you're laying flat on your face. Not like his face. You're on your yeah. stomach. It's your like you're like lying side. down. There's like uh, okay, yeah. all right. I all mean, right. he's not like you know. Yeah. He's not you're doing not the pencil. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what you lie on your back? No, never. I'm on my side. Is yeah. that you're trying to say? Your st- I, I pictured I, you yeah. like this, yeah, just with your face <laughs> in the pillow. Yeah, I don't know. You know, it's like there is something. It's like or it's it's like that means you were raped repeatedly <laughs> as a child. I don't know what it means. It Some definitely sort of- does. I know that that <laughs> my, my issues are definitely come out when i sleep i have to have a pillow between my legs i'm like clutching one hugging one yeah, yeah. what is that about we're crazy that's what it's about or we're just fat guys that need yeah you comfort. need you need it to prop you up <laughs> in certain angles yeah. i think Take yeah that's what off. i think it is by the way i'm 
I now, when I wake up, it's like I can't go back to sleep sometimes. Yeah. Oh, it's the worst. It's the worst. You guys keep the TV on? <laughs> yeah, my wife, um, it, which is a horrible thing. TV's to do. on all night. Uh, often. Well, we'll do a DVR thing, so then it'll, it'll turn to yeah. cool. like that. Any lights on in the room? No, I don't like lights. No. Fan. Uh, I like it cold. I like it very cold, yeah, but my wife know. doesn't. Hmm. Who wins and that also, battle? Her typically. The, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, she'll just be like, "It's freezing," and I'm like, "I know, thank God." Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was going for. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it when so, it's cool. But also, she had this medical condition, so she'll cough repeatedly during the night, uh, and she'll sound like she stops breathing. So and. She, so I'll have that panic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. also, when you have kids, you have like this super hearing where you're like, you hear is like a certain yeah. cry. You're like, what is that? You know, is someone murdering my children? <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Sounds like a good time. Yeah, it's very <laughs> relaxing. <laughs> um, All right. Uh, growing up, did you growing up and or now, and I guess yeah. your kids? Do you do milk with dinner? I think growing up, I definitely yeah. did. sure. Growing up, I did a lot of bologna sandwiches with ketchup. Mm -hmm. Um, I also, by the way, uh, so for my seventh birthday, my sister Pam bought me um, a package of hot dogs and a six pack of Dr. Pepper. Oh my God, that is the trashiest (laughs) gift I've ever heard in my life. And I was ecstatic. (laughs) The next year. Get the ballpark Franks. (laughs) Like when I was ten, she bought me a hot air popcorn maker. I yeah. love, po- I still love popcorn. Uh. Um, but I'm trying to think wow, of what hot else. Hot dogs is a gift That's with a, a six pack look. of Dr Pepper, and it was Oscar Mayer hot dogs. It was like, but it was so. But yeah, it was one of those things where like this because being the youngest of six kids, the food was gone. Mm-hmm. You know, you would food would enter the house. You know, and things would be gone. I would also eat a lot of, uh, like, after school, I would eat pieces of bread. I would take a piece of Wonder Bread. I don't know if you guys had Wonder Bread. Yeah, of course. And you tear the sides off, and then you take the bread, and you fold it, and you fold it until it's like a little dough cube. Oh, yeah. We were talking about this last week. We made them into little balls. Balls, Yeah. 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 Um, Were you allowed sugar cereal in your house when you guys were kids? Not really. Right. Not really. Um, what was the go to box in the house? I think it was I think it was uh cornflakes. It was pretty much cornflakes. Respectable. Okay. It bad. was also one of those things where the cereal would be gone. Yeah. It would be gone. So like and also I had an older brother, Mike, who would beat you up if you ate the cereal <laughs> so it was like you pig yeah. and so you'd be like i only had one bowl there's none in here <laughs> so it was very much that. what about the pet situation we had dogs uh we had, i had a dog buttons um and uh <laughs> buttons uh, the, i don't know buttons, why that makes we, me which laugh we think he sounds like he was italian <laughs> <laughs> buttons no <Yo>, jimmy <laughs> Hey, Buttons. How about a walk, huh? <laughs> Buttons, who, by the way, nobody washed, so he smelled. <laughs> it's like our and, Buttons. And Buttons <laughs> Buttons was probably poisoned by a neighbor. Really? What? He had a heart attack right in front of me. It was the most traumatic thing. I was Jesus. Probably, probably 13 at the time. Was there a beef with Tore the neighbor or something? No. It was, I think they were just dealing with raccoons and they put out something. Oh. And, um, and then, so my dad went to Georgetown, met my mom at Georgetown. She was at a day school. It was all men then. And so then my parents, after Buttons passed away, and it was totally my dog. So they surprised me and they got another dog and they called it Hoyo, which is the name of the Georgetown sure. team. I, my brother, Joe, who's kind of my Irish twin, twin rent, went to Georgetown. The next year, I applied. I didn't get in. Not only did I not get in, I applied to like six colleges, didn't get into one of them. Really? 
So, and then there was this dog as this reminder. That, yeah, that oh you stink, God. yeah. Yeah. So, so I poisoned them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have the last laugh. This is for buttons. But anyway. Uh, you did end up going to Georgetown, right? Or I no? did. I transferred in. Wait, yeah. what, you started at Purdue. 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 Playing ball. Well, we I really walked t- on. We didn't really talk about that. You, you I, played wa- the- I walked on. But still, it's Division One. It's Purdue. Yeah, I mean, I didn't do the whole season. So it's like, I don't want to be dishonest. You know what I mean? It was just like, I was a lineman. And I and they're like, you're not going to gain weight. And I'm like, uh, I, if only they knew. <laughs> See me in 20 years, will you? Um, <laughs> you were, there's a picture of you floating around where you're like. Jack. Yeah, you're yeah. like a Did Jack. You, play, you played in, in high school, obviously. I played in high school, and then I played at Georgetown. Yeah, first time, walked on for this. This kid's great. pretty good. He's a natural. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, was, I wrestled in high school, and I remember at the weigh-ins. I don't know if anyone wrestled. Did anyone wrestle? Of course. It was so weird. The the weigh-ins, everyone's naked. Naked. Mm -hmm. Naked. And so what would... I would have this... So I was completely cut, and I was also the whitest thing on earth. (laughs) So at the weigh-in, the guy would be like, what the fuck? Where's Gaffigan? (laughs) So it was this intimidating thing, or I like to think that it was. You know, like this really intimidating guy who was just oddly white. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. <laughs> Can't get a read on him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Huh. I like it. Any magicians or inventors in your family? No magicians or inventors. Okay. When you order takeout food now, will you like plate it or will you eat it out of the container? Um, I would just eat it out of the container. Mm-hmm. My wife will, will plate it. If you guys get Chinese for dinner at the house. Yeah, you, you, for the kids, everyone's getting the plate, plate. and all that stuff. We had Thai food last night, but um, yeah, some of it is sharing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, yeah, but yeah, the yeah, two yeah. younger kids, they just eat rice. By the way, here's another white trash thing. Um, <laughs> so far, everything has up, been white trash. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> so everything's been white trash so far. <laughs> but <laughs> you had us at mush. But by yeah. the way, you know, it's got a barky it's taste. Mush. To it. It's mush. It's mush. Mush. By the way, growing up. When we would get, when we would have Chinese food, by the way, there were no Chinese people in our town. Um, and so it was like, it was made up Chinese sure. words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but also we would get rice and then someone would go in the kitchen and we'd put butter on the rice and we'd eat that. That's, that. that's authentic trash. Yeah, you guys didn't that. do butter on your sandwiches, did you, on your bread? No. I, there were people that, I remember I went to a friend's house and there was a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and the mom put peanut butter, butter, on. Uh, I've seen that. That's oh, a good woman. <laughs> really, you love that? Oh, my I aunt. think that's a very European thing. My aunt. Well, I can't I've wrap been my to Paris. Head. What do you expect? <laughs> yeah, you and the shallow man. <laughs> no, when I was a kid, my aunt put it was it would be ham and cheese. It would the, the bread would always be buttered, always. And so you wouldn't use mayonnaise. Sometimes it would be mayonnaise as well. Oh, that's. Oh, that's yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot going on there. Are you a mayonnaise guy? I am a huge mayonnaise. <laughs> are you are you a mayonnaise uh, and your French fries guy? Um, I have done it. Uh-huh. I'm not opposed to it. <laughs> not opposed to it. I'm not anti. I'm in the neighborhood, sure. Um, but yeah, like the uh, and you know, like even my resistance to the butter on. I'm also a salted butter guy. Are you a salted butter or are you a plain butter? Of course. Butter? You got to go salted. Well, you know, I think high-end people. Unsalted it's trash. What are we doing? It doesn't taste like anything. Yeah. It's like, that's why we're here. I like it extra salted. By the way, growing up, um, had no idea what hummus was. Oh, like, I mean, I, I don't think course. anyone knew. I just found yeah, out no. about that a couple of weeks no ago. No one knew what hummus we was. We didn't know what balsamic vinegar was, I swear to God, until about 2004. Well, I in think, my house. I think Italians definitely did, right? Yeah, of course. That's their go-to. Why are they so good at food? I don't know. They're Fantastic. good. They just dominate because we were our, our answers were too busy, like getting boozed up and <laughs> fighting each other. Out yeah. how would they, you guys do a traditional St. Patrick's Day corned beef cabbage? We would at the do. House? Uh, we you know corned beef and cabbage, which by the way is is something that the Irish stole from the Germans. Of course. Um, Lower East Side, correct? But yeah. And Dirty uh, thieves. <laughs> um, but they, we did occasionally. I mean, corned beef is not my thing. Really, not a fan of it. Um, pastrami. I love pastrami. It's one of my favorite things. Interesting. Um, 
You cats but guy. Would, oh, that's right. You are a cats guy. Yeah, I'm a huge yeah. cats guy. But like, but I also like Seven uh, Second Avenue Deli. But the uh, what thing about, about Sarge's? You do Sarge's? I don't know if I've done that. Is that on the th- Upper West Side? Th- no, Thirty Six and Second or Thirty Six and Third. I don't know if I've been there. It's good stuff. Yeah, but um, the uh, but we did look for leprechauns after dinner. <laughs> like. I, that was just to get us outside. Sure, go out, get out of the house. Go look for leprechauns. I got one. <laughs> Your mom's like, yeah. "What the fuck?" It's a neighbor. You're like, Shit. <laughs> "Just go look for a leprechaun." Yeah. All right. <laughs> Definitely had a Guinness by the time I was. I think I probably had a beer with my dad when I was twelve. Wow, wow. that's young. Twelve. Yeah. yeah. How old are you when you had your first cigarette? Uh, I snuck one when I was like sixteen. That's yeah. That's about yeah. This might be a deep cut. I hated it too. I mean, I hated the fact that my parents smoked. Not because I was like it's unhealthy. It was just like I didn't like the smoke. Yeah, it's bothersome. This might be a deep I cut. I chewed tobacco. Did you chew tobacco? Oh, no. What? I I'm addicted to the nicotine gum. Are you chewing nicotine gum yes. right now? I think he has two pieces <laughs> oh in there. Oh my god, that's a big piece. There's more than one piece in there, man. He pulled oh, yeah. it out of his pocket. I thought it was Dayquil. I didn't realize it was. I didn't realize it was nicotine gum. No, but yeah. So uh, nicotine gum. Uh, but yeah, no. I dipped Copenhagen, uh, which is it's American boy over here. <laughs> and uh, key cut. is the key. Key dip is the or Keystone. That was that's really like that's the that's the real that's stuff. another level, but. Uh, yeah, no, I remember I was probably 13 when I had an older brother who uh, had me try Copenhagen, and I almost fell over. Yeah. And I loved it. <laughs> I'm in heaven. So that happens I got Take me now. Because yeah. I got a buzz. Yeah, you get the I, I, I had a Newport when I was like 13 that just put me on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Right? Ah, I felt like I was in Jefferson Airplane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it insane? It's nuts. Crazy, yeah. And then you chase it for another 20 yeah, years. Yeah, you never get it. You, you know, never get it. It's funny. I've mentioned this before, but you'll connect with this. Uh, I went to Catholic school when I was a kid. But for a, for a minute, for one year, we went to like a um, uh, like a more Eastern European Orthodox Catholic Catholic yeah, school. Yeah. And their host wasn't a piece of you know the wafer. It was a little teaspoon of wine with a little piece of bread in it. And they would give that to us. At communion on like oh, Thursday yeah, morning, you said that. and dude, I would be like, I'd be all banged up for the next two periods, and like wow. I, I remember I put two and two together. I was like, oh, this is wine. I'm drunk, and I like this. Wow. And then I would just get real sleepy, that, and then you would, and then, <laughs> then suddenly you'd be called to the guidance counselor, yeah. uh, and the guidance counselor would be like, why don't you lie down? <laughs> <laughs> what about? Um, Hold on, while we were talking about please. butter. Yeah. Growing up and or now, butter on the counter or in the fridge? Great question. This is a big one on the on the pod. We always did butter in the fridge. My wife is from Wisconsin where they leave butter mm. out. What do you prefer? Do you have a preference now I that like you've it had melted. it? I, li- I like I it. I can't soft, believe right? your parents didn't have it on the counter. Old school no. Irish, you got to be kidding me. No, it's like what? it was It was too many flies, I think. Mm-hmm. Or they didn't have a cover or I don't know. But hmm. now that it's soft, you can just start oh, it's spreading. It's like spackle. You're all it's, over it. It's the worst when you're like, because I love toast. You, yeah. And then you have to take a uh, bar. I mean, there's probably worse things. Like, I sure. imagine slavery might have been worse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <there's, yeah. laughs> like, I'm ripping my bread. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. How do you think I feel? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> I'm struggling here. <laughs> Uh, where does the peanut butter go? In the cabinet or in the fridge? Uh, uh, growing up, the cabinet. Right. Now? Now, I think my wife puts it in the fridge. Whoa. Really? Always a Hunt's That's got to rip the bread. Always a Hunt's family. <laughs> That's going to rip the bread. Always a Hunt's family. Always a Hunt's family. Really? Oh, really? No, no, always a Hunt's family. Yeah, okay. I was, gonna I was say. about to kick you out of here, yeah. Jim. <laughs> you're this guy's a, nice, a commie, you're man. You're a nice guy. By the way, helmets, but we, I think there was some Miracle Whip in there. That's crazy. That's, that's insane. Miracle Whip is just... <laughs> It's like, by the way, Miracle Whip and Fluff, they're not that different. No, no they're, they're not. They're in the same, they're cousins. They're, they're the not. Definitely made in the same factory, and I don't <laughs> yeah. like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you've traveled all over the country, known food guy. Is there a regional cuisine that you have an affinity for, like Skyline Chili or Deep Dish Pizza? Anything that stands out? 
Oh uh, well, I I mean, deep dish pizza is one of my favorite things. We had we were in Chicago for a family reunion, uh, for for Christmas, and that's what we had for uh Christmas dinner. And deep my dish wife, pizza? What? Yes, oh my, my god! My wife was not thrilled. No amount of world tours can make you classy. Um, I don't yeah, care the how much you know. It was no, it was uh, it wasn't open. Uh, you know, Don't I like Lou Malnati's. I've had a what's that? It wasn't Gino's East, was it? No, no, but Gino's uh, East, everything was closed, so it was Pequots or Pequots is fire. That's a good choice. Yeah, Damn. here's a question I just thought of that yeah. that'll work for you. Are there any pizza places in New York City that has a picture of you hanging on the wall? Eating a piece of pizza with the owner. There's gotta be. There's you gotta, gotta be. No, I don't think so. You really? gotta. You're not. You're not in John's so. or anything. Or? By the way, um, what's the one that? Uh, God, I should know that we had our wedding. Re- uh, not had wedding reception. <laughs> <laughs> our rehearsal. Is that a Domino's dinner. on Thirty Eighth Street? <laughs> <laughs> no, where's the Chuck E. Cheese in Midtown? Was at. Um, Lombardi's. Ooh. Before before they switch, Lombardi's used to be just part of it, and then they had this room, and we rented out the room. It was like we paid for the wedding, and uh, my wife's one of nine kids, so it was like there was a lot, and we did it in New York City, and so uh, and I'm a cheap bastard, so we did it <laughs> like that. You want pepperoni? What do you want, anchovies? <laughs> I'm not I paying need, for I your pepperoni. Two, I need two slices of plain over here. We're in the weeds. <laughs> you're getting plain and you're keeping it that way. Put these calzones over here. <laughs> I'm not paying for that. Uh, you have a garlic knot. The kids only get garlic knots. <laughs> the wedding cakes, garlic knots. <laughs> How do you feel uh, about uh, brushing your teeth in the shower? I don't do that. You don't do, <laughs> do you pee in the shower? Uh, No. Really? No, I mean I Gentleman. have an aristocrat. I sure. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to have a go-to frozen pizza, what would it be? And do we do that at the house now with the kids? Not really. You're with ordering out New York City. Um, and by the way, it's not like what you'd think. It's Domino's is pretty easy. I hey, buddy, you're you know big Domino's. Uh, you're preaching hey, to the choir, and also, my friend. Also, my wife likes the thin crust yeah thin crust is great yeah in there. and you can eat like three of those <laughs> literally you know what i mean crush them and they're like sixty dollars so you're <laughs> like why am i getting this again when there is world-class pizza yeah. a block away sometimes but, it just hits the spot yeah. mm-hmm. um have you ever made nachos in the microwave yeah definitely oh, yeah. yeah all right it's my kind of guy i definitely make by the way i my wife is from wisconsin and so like being exposed to like that cheese culture, mm-hmm. it, it it changed me forever. So <laughs> you were only a couple hundred miles away. <laughs> no, but so it was like, Jupiter. I mean, we had bratwurst. I had we had cheddar. bratwurst growing up. Like Chicago land people eat sure. bratwurst. Like, did you guys have bratwurst? Yeah, yeah. we had kielbasa. Kielbasa was kielbasa. Big that's not the same thing. Like a bratwurst is like heaven. A kielbasa is like, all right, I'm hungry. <laughs> you know I, mean? I don't know. You about just offended that. every Polish I've had, person. Yeah, I've had both. I think uh, I'm a kielbasa man. Really? We had the Amish. It's it's too. It's like biting. It's like biting through skin. I guess it's, you like it's that. A- <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's like got a nice a, snap to you it. You know what I'm saying? Like there is a snap. It's to a little it. fleshy, yeah. But by the way, I love pierogies. Oh, of course, I love pierogies. Love Mrs. T's frozen pierogies. Yeah. Yeah. Do you cook at the house? I do. Yeah. During the lockdown portion, I cooked a lot. Really? I'm not good at it, but I uh, I would. And then I grew all these peppers, I and they were them. all like they were all they look hot. Great. So yeah. I put uh, hot peppers in everything. <laughs> what do you my want? A hot pepper like, omelet? What do you my got? Kids, <laughs> my kids are like, "What the hell, Dad? What's this in the oatmeal? Spaghetti, this, <laughs> this spaghetti is so hot." And I'm like, "It's good for you." You want some habanero pudding? <laughs> Oh, uh, man. I God. love it. All right. I think I'm pretty much. Uh, yeah, maybe a couple more I got for you. But I mean, I think we got them dead to rights here. Um, have you ever skied in jeans? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you answered that too calmly and confidently. Well, there was, there was, I mean, first of all, <laughs> I mean, like, there's certain things like skiing, horseback riding. I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> Have I done it? Will I do it again? Sure. Uh-huh. 
But like, I don't think we're supposed to do these. Things. I understand. <laughs> I get it. I know I'm not. <laughs> and it's just, I mean, whenever I go skiing. <clears throat> I'll be like, because my wife's like, it'll be good to expose them to something they won't be able to afford to do. Um, So it was, I'm always kind of like, I I don't want to break my leg. I'm taping a special in an hour (laughs) in in a week, you know? So it's not like I can really relax. Mm -hmm. I went ice skating. No, never. I would never. And I swear it was like standing on blades. (laughs) It was really uncomfortable. And I was like, I'm out. Yeah, I would never. I feel like that's the things you got to do young. Like if you didn't do yeah, them young, you, you don't have, you can't learn as an adult. It's like riding a it. motorcycle. You got to if you're going to ride a motorcycle, you have to start when you were like three years old. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you start now, you're 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 in deep trouble. Mm. Yeah. All right, I got one more. Have you ever squeegee? Uh, have you ever used a squeegee at the gas station to clean anything else but the windshield? Yeah, like part like, of the car. Yeah, like the yeah. doors and the hubcaps or something. <laughs> or just, come on, come yeah. on, Jim. You can no, get more to detail. The, the dashboard, the steering wheel. <laughs> the, kids no. in the, back. the kids in the yeah, the kids in the back. Yeah, no, like, and by the way, I didn't own a car for thirty years. So, uh, right, well, you were yeah. li- in the city, and we would. You uh, had a license though, right? You knew how to drive. I had a license, right. so like when I worked in LA, I would drive. But now I have a car because I have five kids. It's a big one where I have to pay not only parking, but extra parking. Sure. Yeah, so they, they SVU the charge. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they see it coming. It's brutal. And whatever they have posted when you're like pulling into the garage, it's always like, you know, $80 yeah. more than that or whatever. Yeah. No, it's kind of like I go to this, I have to see the skin doctor every three months, and he just like, whenever he sees me, he's like, money, money. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm definitely paying for a couple of summer houses for him. <laughs> a couple of kids going to Harvard. But. Gang, ladies and gentlemen, 100% trash, yeah. Mr. Jim. Oh, yeah. well, thank you. Trash, I, you know, by the way, I feel like that's uh, that's an honor. 100%. Yeah, 100%. And you know what? The thing is, it's like I have a joke about how there's moments when you think you're not, when you think you're high class, when you're, you hang you around try. some fancy people who are like, you're like, you know, I got a couple things in common with these people. Mm-hmm. And then you hang around trashy people or you like, hear them behind you and you're like, I got a lot in common. Yeah, these with are that. my people back there. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're like, yeah, yeah, they're talking yeah. about jeans from the 80s. Uh-huh. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you still, well, they're you're talking still... about roller skating parties. I know what they're talking uh, about. Oh, man. <laughs> Nothing like roller skating ring pizza. Good night. Oh, yeah. Oh, the best. Will you, 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 will you take things from the hotel, the shampoos and stuff like that? I used to. Definitely used to. Um, I will also, um, like, if I get pizza for the kids, um, or if I'll get pizza and it'll stay in the room for a couple days, and my wife will be like, should I throw? I'm like, that's perfectly fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, that's you leave perfect. it on the counter for multiple days? Yeah. Room temperature kids. pizza? Yeah. I love room temperature pizza. a madman. I love it's it. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Yes. I, I couldn't agree more. Where, where do you think? You think cheese was in a refrigerator in the 1800s? Yeah. It's already cooked and everything. You're it fine. Been in a pizza hut back then, though. <laughs> yeah, but it's just like, it's also, that's where I'm a cheap bastard. I'm like, this is perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. You know, an eight-year-old, they don't know the difference between good or bad. <laughs> food poisoning or non-food poisoning. <laughs> e. coli, salmonella. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jim Gaffigan. Yeah. Thanks, uh, you guys. Sir, do you have anything coming up you want to know about? Obviously, we have a comedy monster. Is that on Netflix? It is on Netflix, and um, I'm touring if, unless the world ends. Yeah, true. Uh, I'm uh, I'm gonna be back out there. I'm in Chicago. I'm in uh, Rochester. Is a great trashy town. Yeah. There you go. Have you had a garbage plate? Not uh, yet. I hear good. things. Oh my though. gosh. Um, but yeah. So going all around, I'm trying to think of. I can't. Th- you know, like I did a podcast the other day and with comics, and they listed all these cities <laughs> off the top of their head. I'm like, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> But like I mean, I'm you're doing, doing Fox crazy Woods, things. Boston. I'm doing a show in Mexico City. Yeah, I which mean, is very you can't exciting. remember all that, you know. And you have like 15 movies coming out. It's oh, insane. Well, it's very fun. Hopefully, I'll get more. It's yeah. awesome. Love thanks. it. We love you, buddy. Thank Appreciate you so much. It. Yeah, thanks. Kippy, what do you got for him? Uh, just you know, at Kevin Ryan social media, at Kevin Ryan comedy. Check out uh, our special on YouTube and our live dates. Uh, should be posted by the time this comes out. So check it out, gang. We love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Thank you.